Hey guys, you are watching my channel Economics at a glance. So guys, today we will cover the supply chapter. So this is the last video of supply chapter. Well, we have covered what is supply, law of supply and the change and shift in supply. So we will cover today the price elasticity of supply. We will cover fast because the concept I have already covered in the demand chapter. The price elasticity of demand, how to derive and all concepts. Still, if you have not seen that video, you can easily access to that video through the playlist of microeconomics I have mentioned in the description box. So let's get started guys. So what does price elasticity of supply say? Same as demand, degree of responsiveness of quantity supplied due to change in its price. That means the quantity or the commodity which you are supplying, when there is change in that price of your commodity, your supply, how, he, how it will respond. Your supply, how it will respond, that is price elasticity of supply. Clear? Okay. So what is the formula? Proportionate change in quantity supply divided by proportionate change in price. Okay. Just as I have discussed in the demand chapter. And here is the formula. Percentage change in quantity supply divided by percentage change in price. And here it is Q2 minus Q1 divided by P2 minus P1 multiplied by P1 divided by Q1. Okay. This is all derivation I have clearly mentioned in the demand chapter. Go to that if you have any doubt in it. Okay. Now we will move to the schedule or ex small example to test this formula. Okay. So let's say take any kind of food materials. Okay. Any kind of food materials. Let's say. Uh, when the price is, it is price and quantity, when the price is 15 rupees, you are purchasing, let's say, sorry, you are selling five, uh, five products, okay. When the price has been increased to 20, okay, so your quantity will increase because it is supply, okay. In demand case, it is decreased, but in supply, it will increase and now we are increased our supply to 10, okay. This is our Q1, Q2 and this is P1 and P2. So what is the formula to get? Elasticity will be Q2 minus Q1, 10 minus 5 divided by P2 minus P1, 20 minus 15 into P1. P1 is 15 divided by Q1, that is 5. Okay, so 5 divided by 5, 15 divided by 5. Okay, 5, 5, 5 got cancelled, 5 divided by 15, that is 3. Your elasticity is greater than 1. Okay, tell me in which case elasticity will be greater than 1? When elastic is, elasticity is relatively elastic. Okay, I have discussed already like in which case it will be relatively elastic, in which case it will be relatively inelastic. In which case it will be in unitary elastic. Fine. Still if you have not seen the video you can easily access. Go to that video. Then it will be very easy for you to understand. Okay. So next is this is all about the price elasticity of supply. And quickly we will cover the degrees of elasticity. Okay. Degrees of elasticity have you remembered all? I have already covered in demand chapter. Well what is the degrees of elasticity? Perfectly elastic, relatively elastic, perfectly inelastic, per relatively inelastic and unitary elastic. Yes or no? See, just like demand chapter, we will cover here quickly. See, always the perfect elastic curve will be like this, horizontal. Okay, here quantity in x-axis and price in y-axis. Here elasticity will be infinity. Because perfectly elastic, remember the value of elasticity in perfectly elastic, it will be infinity. Okay. Next. Next is after perfectly elastic, we will cover relatively elastic. Okay. In demand chapter, we have covered in case of relatively elastic demand, the curve is flatter. Here also the curve will be flatter, but little bit difference because demand is downward sloping, supply is upward sloping. So it will be relatively flatter, but like this. Okay, elasticity greater than 1. It is relatively elastic. Fine. Okay, 
नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट इज से रिलेटिवली इन इलास्टिक से वॉट हैपन रिलेटिवली इन इलास्टिक स्टीफर कर बट इट विल बी ऑफवर्ड स्लोपिंग सो इट विल बी स्टीफर ई लेस दैन वन इट विल बी रिलेटिवली इन इलास्टिक फाइन वॉट इट परफेक्टली इलास्टिक रिलेटिवली इलास्टिक रिलेटिवली इन इलास्टिक इट विल बी परफेक्टली इलास्टिक फाइन ओके नेक्स्ट वी विल ड्रॉ यूनिटरी इलास्टिक सी यूनिटरी इलास्टिक इज सेम ओके मूविंग थ्रू द ओरिजन ओके मूविंग थ्रू द ओरिजन मेन्स इट विल बी यूनिटरी इलास्टिक सिमिलरली इन डिमांड कर वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टडीड ओके सो वॉट विल बी द परफेक्टली इन इलास्टिक सिमिलर थिंग Perfectly in elastic. See, perfectly in elastic. The vertical curve, just like we have studied in demand concept. Here elasticity will be zero. Okay. So similar thing like just we have studied in demand chapter. Here it is perfectly elastic, horizontal to the x. Um, sorry, parallel to the x-axis, horizontal. Perfectly in elastic, vertical curve parallel to y-axis. and the relative elastic it will be flatter relatively inelastic it will be stiffer and in case of unitary elastic it will go through origin clear okay so i'll give small example in both these cases in relatively in inelastic case what happened let's take an example of salt or gas gasoline yes or no salt gasoline so what happened in this case see relatively in elastic means what happened here whatever proportionate change in price occurred relative to that the quantity supplied the change in quantity supplied will be less as we have studied in demand chapter same concept whatever change occurred in price relating to that the change in quantity supply will be less that is why it is inelastic less means it is not responding to that much see in case of salt salt price has been increased do you think you will supply more who will buy that no yes or no so in that case even if salt price is increasing you will not increase the supply of salt in that extreme okay taking the example of any kind of food products okay when the price will increase you will obviously increase your supply more than the increase in price why because people will purchase okay because the food items people will purchase and when the price will increase you will increase the supply more than the increase in price getting my point and this is a unitary case this is perfectly inelastic perfectly elastic okay how to remember how to remember the shape just i have told a shortcut in the demand here also i will explain a shortcut like how you will remember the curves okay just a minute okay see it is your axis fine and you all know that it is perfectly elastic and this is perfectly inelastic perfectly elastic perfectly inelastic fine this things you have remembered now how to remember relatively elastic relatively inelastic yes see the curve moving through origin it will be elas unitary elastic fine the curve moving through the origin or you can take the middle curve okay next is the line lying above it will be relatively elastic and the line lying below it will be relatively in elastic fine this is a shortcut you can use to remember the shape perfectly elastic perfectly in elastic middle one is unitary elastic as always the line lying above is relatively elastic because greater than 1 is between 1 and infinity and between 1 and 0 less than 1 isn't it okay so with this the supply chapter is over let today onwards we will start with some new chapter of microeconomics 
Till then, stay with my channel and give a thumbs up to my video right next to you. Till then, thank you so much.